Christensen wrote the book, The Innovator's Dilemma, to help us understand how innovation works and how companies of all sizes can learn to do it better. At the heart of the book is the distinction between sustaining and disruptive technologies or innovation. Sustaining innovation improves established products. Think of this like faster processing speed on a computer or better fuel efficiency on existing cars. Disruptive innovation creates new markets. Think of this like what the iPod did for the music market and what Tesla is doing right now in the car industry. These technologies are generally cheaper, simpler, smaller, and frequently more convenient to use. The problem most established companies face is there is little to no market for disruptive technologies at first, and so it's hard to make a business case for investing in them. The solution for this, Christensen suggests, is to create a separate organization, like a startup, to experiment in as many ways as possible to find out what works, much like what Eric Ries suggests in The Lean Startup. What's old is new again. So there you have it, The Innovator's Dilemma in 60 Seconds. At Readaforme, we spark conversations that lead to your greatest work. We bring you the best ideas from the world's most read business books and bloggers. If you like this book brief and want to learn more, you can buy the book on Amazon or at your local bookstore, or get the full 12-minute version by signing up for a free account at www.readafor.me.